may be idealistic, but you know, I believe that artists should always be exploring, improving, growing. Being an artist means that you're sharing your views, your opinions through creativity. You know, we all change as we grow and mature and our art should reflect our changing views. The sketch we have today is an example of exploring a new approach, this time to a still life. This is a more graphic design. It employs the element of shape and it offers a new twist to an autumn still life. I'm going to take an old piece of watercolor paper and some re I have some real leaves. I went out and picked them this morning. I have all different shapes different shapes and sizes. Lots of different uh, sizes especially. And what I look for when I pick the leaves is the veining on the back side. You want a distinct veining on the back side. Some leaves are almost smooth on the back side. Those won't, won't work so well for this technique. Um, so I'm going to take uh, maybe two or three of these and use them for my painting. But right now, let me show you how this works. So I'll take one leaf. I'm going to place it in my palette or any flat surface. Take a large brush. And now we're going to uh, add color. The consistency or the ratio of water to paint is what's important here. We want it fairly heavy on the paint side. Not so much water, more paint. So it's a thicker combination. And now I'm just going to take a heavy consistency of magenta. I could use any color for this because I'm just showing you how to do this. Now you can see that it's fairly thick paint. Not too thick. It still spreads easily. Okay, and then I'll change to another color on the other side. Mix the colors a little bit, but make sure they're pretty colors. Get some blue in there. Um, and here's another tip. Some leaves are a little waxy and then the paint doesn't stick so well. You can mix in a little bit of soap, either brush your, um, your, the brush on a bar of soap or a little liquid soap. That completely takes that waxy feeling away. And you want a fairly heavy consistency of paint. You see, I'm putting quite a bit of paint on this. Quite a bit of paint on that. All right, and I'm gonna take my leaf, turn it over on the paper, and take a paper towel and press down. Oh, I got it all over my fingers, don't I? Press it down. All right, pick the paper towel up. Pick the leaf up, and what a beautiful leaf you have. That is so pretty, prettier than I could uh, paint it if I were painting a real leaf. I've got that deep uh, orange color that I used up here. And we're going to use the dry brush technique. We're using the side of our brush and we're going to come around the back side of the pumpkin with the dry brush. Clean up the edges. Nice even stroke. I'm going to take another brush for my water brush. So this is just clear water on this brush and right away I'm going to soften it. Soften the outside edge. Go up the next rib of the pumpkin. I'm not getting any more paint on my brush. Maybe we can do another rib as well. taking my clear water and softening those edges. 
hard edges, soft edges, that's what you want, not all hard or all soft. It's the combination of the two that make watercolor beautiful.